Hello mis amores and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, let's travel to Colombia. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. I know, I know I look like the Pope with a sweater on, but I swear it's just the frame. It looks cute with the rest of the outfit, I promise. We're gonna travel to Encanto, which is a town from the movie Encanto. <laughs> Which is our inspiration for this very video. So, this is a thermometer. <laughs> so, I'm gonna teach you something. Not much, I'm just gonna tell you to go watch Encanto on Disney because Naomi and I have watched it on New Year's Eve or started watching it. We unfortunately had to continue the next day. And then we watched it again the next day. So we've watched the movie twice in the span of a couple of days. And I think I do not only speak for myself when I say that I cannot get the songs out of my head. Because they're just so fucking good and very addictive. I am Mariposa. No se antena, we don't talk about Bruno. Let me know what your favorite song from the movie is, if you have seen it. If you haven't, I actually really, really enjoyed it. Part of the reason, actually, I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't really one of the reasons, but I have to find a reason for this video. Part of the reason I love this movie was the food. <laughs> if you guys don't know the movie, it is about a family, a magical family. Each family member has a special gift, and the gift of the protagonist's mother is that she can heal people through her food. And in the movie, we see her make amazing buñuelos and also arepas. arepas by the way, are also part of one of the songs. It goes like, My mama Julieta can make you feel better with just one arepa. There are a lot of lyrics, but ever since I watched that movie, I cannot stop thinking about arepas and also buñuelos. And so I thought this is the perfect opportunity to make them and also inspire you guys, if you do not know these things already, to make them. I actually only know arepas. I've always wanted to try buñuelos, but I never did. Arepas is one of my favorite things to eat here in Berlin. I don't know if they're like very legit, but they do look legit. Arepas are basically thick, bread thingy made from cornmeal and it's just very good. But we're gonna make them later in the video because I think they are easier than the buñuelos, which I'm kind of afraid of making. Buñuelos are basically cheese balls. I think. I've watched so many videos of people making buñuelos and also read a couple of recipes and everyone seems to make them differently, so now I don't know how I'm supposed to make them anymore. We're just gonna see what we end up with, am I right? I think I rambled enough. I hope I made it clear that you guys should watch the movie. And if that doesn't convince you, then I hope my food will. Welcome to the family, Vincento. So this recipe was actually posted by Disney on Twitter. I don't know if they've posted it anywhere else. Let me just tell you what you guys need. 140 grams of cassava flour. Cassava? I don't know how to pronounce that. I've never heard that word before, actually. <laughs> 65 grams of cornmeal. And here comes the tricky part, because it was so hard to find the proper cheese, and I'm sure it's still wrong honestly, because literally every recipe said something different and it was so hard to find the right cheese alternative because in Colombia they use a cheese called, I think, queso costeño? And you can't get this anywhere else, I don't think. At least not in Germany. So now I've used 150 grams of feta and also some mozzarella mixed into it because, again, the internet said all sorts of things, so I, I, I just hope this will be fine. <laughs> Two tablespoons of sugar, uh, one tablespoon of salt. <laughs> I'm gonna just write it because I don't have it here right now. Half a teaspoon of baking powder, 15 grams of butter, one egg, two tablespoons of milk, and three cups of vegetable oil. I don't know how much we're gonna need, something along these lines. <laughs> Step one, it says, in a big mixing bowl or on a clean fat, fat, <laughs> or on a clean flat surface, add cassava flour, cornstarch, cheese, sugar, salt, baking powder, butter, egg, and milk. Mix with your hands until fully combined. The dough should be easy to mold with your hands and not too dry or wet. This tells us that we can just basically mix everything together. And even though I've just cleaned the flat surface, I want to use a mixing bowl anyway. Don't hate me. So, we're gonna add the cassava flour. Oh, so that happened. 
and also the cornmeal. Ah! All right, so be careful when you're mixing this because you've yeah. just seen the because. So now we're gonna add the cheese, the feta cheese and my mozzarella situation. Pretend it's fine. That's what I'm telling myself. The sugar, salt. Look, we've got this fancy thingy now. <laughs> Baking powder, butter, and the milk. This feels funny. Um, I can't do this with just one hand, but I'm gonna pretend like I do know how to do this with just one hand. I need my second hand. The dough should be easy to mold with your hands and not too dry or wet. It smells very feta-y. It's not too dry and also not too wet. I think this dough is pretty good. I mean, not that I would know. <laughs> how to make 32 equal parts? I do not know. Just gonna roll them into nice little balls. I mean, we could weigh them, but also we're about eyeballing things. We want this to look homemade. <laughs> A great excuse for when it doesn't turn out great. <laughs> I wanted it to look homemade. Not store-bought. That's why it looks like crap. Maybe my food can heal problems too. They're about the same size and this is all we want. Now comes the scary part. Now it's time for the frying. So it says in a medium pan, we're gonna use a pot. Heat oil on high for about three minutes until it reaches 160 to 170 degrees Celsius. Then lower the heat to medium and keep it at a constant temperature. Alright, I'm gonna turn this fish up and hopefully it'll reach 180 degrees at some point. 60, 160. So we're now at 160 degrees. So I'm gonna lower it to a medium temperature. I've already got my paper towel here because we're gonna put the bunuelos on this after all. I'll go. These are too many languages in my head right now. It says to put in three to four bunuelos at a time. Here goes the first one and here goes nothing. Three, four. I think it's working. They're dancing around in the oil. Dance! They love you! Why would I not be able to put in more? Actually, they turn on their own, so I don't have to do anything. Until they're golden brown. They rotate on their own to help themselves cook evenly. <laughs> they're very independent. I'm gonna give you a time lapse now. Can I not just put more in? There's so much space. Look how they're dancing. It's so funny. Oh, this Okay, guys, this is taking forever. I'll just show you the result. Look at them. Is that how they're supposed to look? <laughs> they look so great. They are quite hard, but maybe that's how they're supposed to be. I don't know. They look great. I love how round they are. They look so perfect. <laughs> I hope I didn't fuck this up. Naomi's getting her cream cheese already without ever having even tried them. I'm gonna try one without. I'm just prepared. It is time to try. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it says careful they're hot. Mmm. 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 I like the inside. Try with cream cheese. <laughs> I don't want your cream cheese. I got them. <laughs> wow, this is the perfect ball. I cannot believe this. I think the flavor is great. I love the texture on the inside. It's a bit cheesy, but also like so soft and delicate and like so nice and airy. I don't know how I feel about the crust though. I like the crust. Try it with cream cheese. Oh my god. Mm. I don't need it. It's not bad. I reckon you could also eat them sweet. Do you eat them sweet? Like with chocolate? Amazing, Julieta. Julieta! That's my sister, Julieta. I feel like Julieta could also make me feel better with just one buñuelo, even though it doesn't rhyme at all. I like them a lot. So they're really good. They're really easy to make. So what's stopping you? 
make some buñuelas colombianas. I think I have to add colombianas because I think there are buñuelas from other countries that are not these cheese fritters. And now Julieta can make you feel better with just one arepa and therefore we gotta make not just one but more arepas. I have not found a Disney verified recipe but for promo two of the main voice actresses did arepas in a video from Tasty which I'm gonna link in the description down below. They didn't give me a recipe however However, they showed us how it's done. It looked pretty pretty easy so I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to make the perfect arepas right now. Right now. <laughs> In the video they literally just added water to my thinna, cornmeal, and added a little salt and then their dough was basically done. So in some recipes they add cheese to the dough or the masa but in the video they just you know, made the dough and then wrapped the dough around some cheese, which is what we're gonna do as well. Buckle up, cause we're about to take off. You're gonna need 250 grams of cornmeal. Again, we're gonna need the queso costeño. Well, we're just gonna use a mixture of 80 grams of mozzarella and about 30 grams of feta, a bit of salt, and lastly, some warm water. <laughs> and that's it. Apparently you can also do this by hand, but we're gonna start off with a spatula because I don't, I just, ah, why do I hate doing it with my hand? I don't know. Let's add the cornmeal. Oh, why do I keep forgetting that this happens? Apparently you're supposed to cook it with arepa flour, which is pre-cooked cornmeal, which I think this my thin eye is, but um, I'm not sure. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have listened to the couple of recipes that told me to use my thena, but to the many that told me to use pre-cooked cornmeal. I hope we're gonna be fine. Then we're gonna add some salt. Just casually. And then we're gonna mix in the water. I'm not gonna pour in everything. Diane Guerrero just put everything in right away. This is not doing what it's supposed to be doing at all. Oh my God. What the fuck is happening here? I feel like I need more water. Something's wrong. Um, why is this completely liquid? <laughs> I didn't even put all the water in. So of course the recipe that I called easy would come and bite me in the neck. I have now bought some normal cornmeal, which I think for arepas you need pre-cooked cornmeal, but I can't get that right now and it'll only arrive in like one and a half weeks. So we're gonna try adding some normal cornmeal to this and, and just hope that somehow we're gonna make something resembling arepas because if not then tomorrow night I'm gonna order arepas and I'm gonna show you what they're supposed to look like. Very successfully and rather confidently, I have then prepared the topping for the arepas already. Of course, I turned out to be overly confident. The dough turned into something even weirder after adding regular cornmeal. Somehow it was dry yet wet at the same time. It really turned into the strangest dough I've ever touched and it would break so easily yet cleanly. Still, I decided to just go with it and turn it into something resembling arepas. I even stuffed them with a the cheese, fried them, and the result was... And they weren't even cooked. Luckily, the topping tasted amazing with the buñuelos. Hello guys, it is the next day. I've decided I'm not backing down. Tonight is the night. We're gonna make some amazing arepas. Are you ready? I'm not sure if I am. I'm gonna have to be. Yeah. All right, just like yesterday, I formed some little arepas. I've got them right here and I'm just gonna fry them now. Oh, look, they're done! Amazing. Wow, look at them. Perfect. They look so great. This time they worked out really well. Miraculously, a filling formed as well. That's talent. That's pure talent right there. Thank Arepa you, thank King. You. Maybe it's my magic. Yummy. All right, guys, so this is what an actual arepa looks like. So our filling is a vukadu, and then we've got some black beans, some herdus cheese, and some plantain, and some herb sauce. Mm. Mm. Vincent's favorite food. You should buy the proper flour <laughs> and then make arepas. If you want to make arepas, Vincent doesn't have the recipe. Mm. But guys, what I do have, a box. <laughs> I also have more sauce. I bought, what's it called? Yucca fries? They're fried manioc root. And they look like this. I have never tried them before. Mm. 
How's the flavor? <laughs> Maybe in here. <laughs> Why does it not have any flavor? It tastes like root. <laughs> That's rude. But the arepas, guys. Time to dance the dance for the arepas. Hello guys, it's a couple of days later. I'm currently editing my video and I realized that I've never filmed an outro. There's not a lot left to say. I know my arepas were a total fail, but I'm planning my redemption arc because I've already ordered the right kind of flour, meal, whatever it's called, pre-cooked cornmeal. And I'm so excited to hopefully very, very soon when it finally arrives, make proper arepas. And I'm definitely gonna share that with you guys either here on YouTube or over on my Instagram. But either Either way, this was such a fun video to make, even though 50% of my recipes did not work out. But it's definitely fun to work a little bit more with something that you really enjoyed, as in Encanto in this case, and also something that you've always wanted to explore a bit more, which is Colombian food and just Latin American food in general, because I am quite intrigued. But now it's time for me to go. So that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Y entonces nos vemos la próxima vez. Bye.